Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. We're going to give a couple extra minutes here, still waiting for a few registrants to jump on. Um, so if you give us a, a second here, we'll, uh, we'll get started in, uh, in just another minute. Again, hello and welcome to today's webinar. Uh, we are here to talk about Kirk's Applied Engineering Services. Before we get started, I want to make some general housekeeping statements on the structure of the webinar. The presentation is being recorded. We will keep the full time of the session to 30 minutes or less. We welcome questions during the presentation through the question and answer feature. You will be able to reach out to our panelists directly and questions may be able to be uh, responded to immediately. Other questions will be fielded at the conclusion of the presentation. And any questions that we cannot get to within our 30 minute session, we will ensure that we respond via email to your questions directly. During the presentation, everyone on the call is muted other than those of us presenting. And following the presentation, we will share the recording and the slide deck with all of those registered. And there will be a three, uh, three to four question survey uh, with that uh, to help us approve on planning for the future webinars. And if you answer, there will be a small prize as a little incentive. So we thank you for your interest in Kirk Applied Engineering Services and we'll go ahead and get started. So I'd like to introduce those of us that are on the call today representing Kirk. I am Sandy Kaufman. I will act as the moderator for this presentation. I am the marketing manager and have been with Kirk for approximately seven years. I was an active participant in laying out the structure of the Applied Engineering Services, and I look forward to hearing from you on how we can continue to solve your safety solutions. Matt is our VP of Services and Solutions, and he will be your host for the presentation today. He is leading the Applied Engineering Services team with over 20 years at Kirk. Matt has served on the management board here at Kirk for the past five years and his experience with Internox schemes and solutions, as well as his relationships with uh, UR customers provides the foundation for his team to ensure they design the safest solutions for your needs. Trish Shriver is the director of energy. She will be directing our question and answer session today, as well as providing some insights as a panelist and Al Roach, our specifications and EPC manager is also with us today on the call to support any of your questions as well. So as we go ahead and get started, I'll turn the presentation over to Matt Define. Oh, thank you, Sandy, uh, for kicking off this webinar and, and thank you everyone for taking time out of your day to, uh, to join us. We've got some exciting news here at Kirk. Uh, we're really excited about kicking off our services. Uh, historically, uh, since I've been part of Kirk, it's always something that we have obviously wanted to support our customers. Uh, we haven't done it uh, in a fashion where it's been consistent uh, and we've actually put a, a team together uh, to, to offer these services and, and 
to offer more consistent package. Uh, so with that being said, uh, we kick off the presentation with why Kirk services. Uh, we understand the pain points that can be encountered with an interlock solution when it's specified on a particular project. And the team here at Kirk is here to help. Many of the projects involve multiple OEMs. And, and with that, uh, there's coordination between those pieces of equipment. And, and trying to manage that can be overwhelming at times. Um, so that, that's, that's an issue. And some of you guys have probably have, have experienced that at some point. Um, as interlock experts here at Kirk, we also understand the complexity and the challenges that can come along with trying to design uh, the interlock logic. We know also what type of equipment that may or may not have interlock provisions. Um, and we know the type of interlock products that uh, can accommodate these provisions. If there are cases where there are no provisions, uh, we can design a customized uh, solution. It may be modifying a piece of our uh, existing interlock, or in some cases, we have designed a complete new interlock to adapt to that piece of equipment. We'll take on the time that you would have spent to manage the scheme, uh, the coordination of the equipment OEMs and the design, the logic, which will ultimately save you a valuable time and money. Uh, we know through, throughout a project, things can change. Uh, customers may have different requirements or the, you know, the product, project just takes a little different direction. Uh, we'll be your partner in that project to help manage those changes as it pertains to the interlocking scheme. If that changes reflects, uh, you know, that if, if that change, uh, you know, changes the interlock logic, we can make sure that we uh, can adapt the scheme to meet, to meet those new changes. Uh, so that in the end, you have a finalized scheme that is efficient and, and most of all safe for the customer. So the first step that you have to take, uh, obviously, that we encourage is to get a hold of Kirk Applied Engineering Service as soon as you know your project requires a trap key interlock. Uh, the more upfront that we can be involved in the project, uh, the more efficient the design process will be. As equipment OEMs that incorporate trap key interlocks, uh, we want to partner with you guys as much as with Kirk so that um, if the product, you know, if your product uh, is up is being updated and needs the interlock provisions to change, uh, we want to be a part of that. Uh, we've had some OEMs come to us and we've actually designed the interlock provision for them. Uh, they went ahead and obviously approved those uh, design changes, but it was a nice partnership with them uh, for Kirk to be a part of that and to ensure that we meet your customers' needs for the interlock as, as well as what uh, the feedback that we get from our customers. From the first conversation, we'll talk to determine the first steps for implementing the solution. Uh, if in the past, before COVID, it might be that an on-site visit's necessary if it's existing equipment. Obviously, if it's a very uh, new project without existing equipment, um, a walkthrough may not be needed. Our tech support people here at Kirk will be the conduit of communication through most of the design process. As we lay out the documentation, uh, all the materials will be created in a standard uh, CAD format that'll be easily interpreted by all parties. Uh, the documentation uh, would be nice because it'll be stored electronically here at Kirk, along with any customer supplied drawings, uh, pictures. Uh, sometimes we even receive videos that's helpful. And it's important that we keep all that documentation in one place so that uh, down the road, historically, if you're adding on or there's changes need to be made, uh, we can uh, access that information uh, down the road. So in the beginning of the conversations uh, early on in the project, we'll determine what the deliverables 
are needed for that particular project. Uh, maybe you're coming to Kirk at the beginning phases of the project, uh, which we encourage. Um, it may be determined that you require all of the service offerings, a fully designed scheme along with a narrative and a final bill of material. Uh, what's nice about having us do a bill of material for that project, uh, when you're ready to order it, you have all the Kirk part numbers um, and there's no guesswork. It's, you know, it's all done up front for you. And you may initiate the project with Kirk already having finalized the scheme and narrative, uh, but like I said, you might need Kirk to, to help identify the bill of material. Um, like I said earlier, this may be where it's determined that some of the equipment uh, does not have interlock provisions. And then that's where we can step in and like we've done in the past is design a custom uh, solution. It may be, like I said, we may have to take one of our existing products and tweak it, or in some cases come up with a new, uh, a whole new product or make some adapters for that piece of equipment uh, to support the interlock. Regardless of the services that, that the project requires, at final delivery of the solution, Kirk will deliver peace of mind to you and your end users so that you're guaranteed the safest interlock solution and in ensuring the safety of the workers and the equipment. I've got a, uh, a scheme, something that we've recently added to our portfolio for services is we're now able to have the ability to animate the schemes. So I kind of have an example I'd like to share with you with a recent project that we did for a customer where they submitted the electrical one line. We layered in the interlock logic onto that uh, drawing and uh, animated it for them. So Sandy, if you want to go ahead and play that. But you can see here how it, it actually is walking through the scheme. So it's a, it's a very nice tool. This particular customer uh, used it for training uh, for their folks, um, as well as it's, it's also a very efficient way to know, you know, ahead of time how the scheme's gonna operate. Uh, you know, it just makes it very efficient. So you're, you're going in the right sequence um, rather than having to necessarily follow the key numbers, you can actually visually see uh, the scheme before you. So that's something, like I said, as we develop the scheme for you, if you want to animate it, uh, something that we can easily be added to it. So I want to talk through some of the recent projects that, that we've worked on with customers and, and give examples of Kirk being involved at different stages of the project. And that helps you provide the foresight of what can happen when Kirk is involved at different stages. And I think many of you guys have probably have experienced this at some point or another when dealing with interlocks. Um, we recently had uh, a project with a local university in which they upgraded their switch gear uh, with some new equipment and it was integrating with some additional equipment that was already on site. Uh, Kirk unfortunately wasn't involved in the project initially. Uh, we were contacted um, by the contractor after the equipment had arrived on site. Uh, for, for startup. And it, unfortunately, it was found at that point in time that the interlock solution was not designed accurately. Um, there was some incorrect coordination, uh, again, because there was some existing equipment. Uh, some of that communication was lost. Uh, the locks didn't match what was already on site. Uh, the logic was not correct what the end user thought they were getting. Uh, didn't actually meet uh, what they were requesting, uh, which caused a potential safety hazard. Um, and then some of the equipment didn't have the right interlock provisions to adapt uh, to mount our interlocks to it. So with that, obviously, you know, the, the live date uh, was delayed, uh, which unfortunately, you know, extends the project and costs time and money. The second example, uh, is one that we worked on with an engineering firm. At the time, Kirk was presented with a scheme and a narrative uh, that as we worked through the, the scheme with the, uh, the engineering firm, it was identified that uh, some of the logic 
didn't didn't go along with the narrative uh, that was created. So time was spent with Kirk to revisit that scheme and the narrative and what the goals uh, that this particular project called for. Um, so we were able to work with that engineering firm and basically redesign the scheme and then rewrite the narrative to make sure it matched the scheme accurately. Um, this ensured uh, that the go live uh, implementation once on site uh, was flawless and ensured that there was no other uh, product returns or delays uh, because of the interlock logic. So, you know, again, getting us involved, uh, you know, up front would be the best case scenario. Uh, here, at least, we were able to, to get involved and, and correct a lot of things that could have went wrong once the equipment arrived on site. The, uh, the final example uh, is the best case scenario. It's something that I've talked a lot about today with is getting Kirk involved at the beginning of uh, the initial stage of the project. Um, based on the information provided, we were able to work directly with the project managers and the engineers from the beginning. And because we had that direct communication, uh, we were all on the same page, understood what was needed, and we were able to design an interlock uh, scheme um, into the one line uh, electrical diagram. So they basically submitted the electrical one line to Kirk. We layered in the interlock logic on top of that. Um, we were able to pre-label some of the equipment because there was existing key numbers that needed to be matched. We were able to uh, to put that right onto the drawing. Uh, we were able to create a scheme narrative. It was pretty extensive. There was several different scenarios that they wanted the scheme to be able to achieve. Uh, so we were able to create those narratives. And then um, they helped identify the equipment. Uh, they gave us what equipment was being used. So we were able to create a, uh, a very comprehensive bill of material so that at the time of order, um, all the part numbers and the way it needed to be keyed were, were spot on. So it was um, really the best case scenario. It's something that, like I said, you know, when you get Kirk involved at the beginning, uh, the project just goes a lot smoother, uh, less frustration on both ends. And in the end, the customer gets a very safe uh, and efficient interlock system. Thanks, Matt. I uh, appreciate you going through all of that. Um, so now that you as the customer and your end user uh, have a guaranteed interlock solution um, designed by uh, the Kirk Applied Engineering Services team, um, what additional values uh, are there with implementing a solution into your projects? Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, trap key interlock solutions are recognized by ANSI Z244 as an alternative method for controlling and isolating hazardous energy. And with ANSI and CFR 1910 um, states that alternative methods provide the same or greater level of protection as lockout tagout procedures. A trap key interlock safety solution um, ensures maximum levels of protection for your employees, uh, for your end users employees and their equipment. The interlock solution um, guaranteed by the experts can mitigate operation shutdowns. Um, which ensures that there are no tragical, tragic results leading to injury or uh, personnel um, and um, equipment damage. Damages can be highly costly as well as close operations for quite some time uh, in some situations. Having that designed interlock solution, having Kirk ensure that it works uh, from the beginning before implementation really uh, mitigates a lot of those uh, potential hazards and damages. And nothing's more frustrating to a contractor when they uh, want, are on site ready to go live and the equipment uh, and interlock solution doesn't work uh, the way it should or the way it's intended. Um, so of course, uh, making sure those frustrations are, are limited, which ultimately saves time and your go live date uh, is, uh, can move forward um, as necessary. Uh, Kirk interlock products and solutions control the risk and eliminate human error. And it is our passion uh, to ensure that everyone's safety is our utmost, um, is our utmost concern. 
Kirk Engineering Services uh, has been designed um, to be an extension of your engineering teams and to partner with you to ensure that those designs are as effect, uh, efficient, efficient and effective as possible. And as the experts with over 50 plus years of experience in designing interlock solutions, uh, why not come to us uh, to uh, help us partner with you for changes with your equipment or an interlock solution that you want to ensure is provided um, for the safest design possible. So how do you get started uh, with, with your project? As Matt mentioned in uh, one of his examples uh, that he walked through, one of the most important pieces is if you have an one line electrical design that really does help uh, Matt and his team get started with your project and lays everything out for them in kind of one fell swoop and starts the conversation in criteria for your application and operations. And as Matt mentioned, if the equipment is known at the time, that's also helpful to be able to understand what provisions are available or if customized provisions are needed so that uh, when that equipment gets on site, it's ready to go uh, for the interlocks to be installed. So Matt and his services team look forward to working with you and partnering with you to create these systems. You can contact Matt directly at mattatkirkey.com his phone number is there at the bottom, and there is uh, the Kirk Applied Engineering Services and Solutions page on our website in which you can log in there and directly uh, complete a form with some very brief information on your project, and it'll direct itself directly, you know, right to Matt, and he'll be able to get started on your project. So I will pass this over to Trish uh, to field any questions and answers. We hope that this information has been informative and please continue to jump in with any questions you might have as Trish is fielding those that may have come in. Trish? Yep, I'm here. Um, there's a uh, question and answer um, portion at the bottom of your screen that you can uh, type a question in and uh, and I will ask it to uh, to get answered. I do have um, one question already posed, um, and that is, um, and what will Kirk do on a project where a particular piece of equipment has no interlock provisions? Yeah, yeah, I can take that question. That, that's that's a good question. Um, and I mentioned in the presentation, uh, what we can do in that particular situation is we ask for a drawing of that, uh, whether it be a, a breaker handle or a switch, uh, we get the drawing, we then mock that up, that particular handle uh, with the needed dimensions. We send that back to the customer. It's very clear what dimensions are needed. They plug the dimensions in uh, that drawing. They send it back to Kirk. Uh, we then uh, take those dimensions and uh, mock up in this case, uh, in some cases, we mocked up like a collar, uh, custom collar that uh, interacts with the breaker handle. And we send that out, have it 3D printed, uh, that then gets shipped back to Kirk. We package that with the interlock with some uh, basic instructions on how to mount the, uh, uh, how to mount the interlock and the, and the custom collar, and then ship that to the customer directly. So that's, yeah, that's one way that that, that can be achieved. Wonderful, S Sandy. Is there any way to to unmute a a participant so they could ask the question live? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, who might who might that be? Okay, and I'm going to butcher your name, and I apologize. Um, but Ferozi Ahmed. Okay, I see that there. Would you like to ask the question? You should be able. To. There we go. Hi, this is uh, Feroz from Siemens Canada. Hi. Uh, good to hear the stuff uh, we, we use quite often Kirk clock in our switchboard. And uh, my question is, is uh, who will be the contact person in, in Canada or we can directly contact to US uh, like uh, refer to the mat? Yeah, that's, yep, go ahead. Yeah, sometimes we, we get a request to add Kirk Lock in, during proposal stage and we, we don't get time to, to do whole 
uh, drawing first uh, to figure out, uh, for example, uh, uh, transfer lock and uh, Kirk, Kirk lock uh, combination, either it require two cylinder or three cylinder stuff. So uh, is there um, a way or we can uh, send that uh, uh, scheme or single line, it's just, just describing the Kirk lock uh, the sequence of operation is required. We can get the, the, the approx or budgetary uh, uh, cost and the part number so that we can close off during quotation stage. Yes, no, that's a good question. I, I would say to go ahead and send that directly to myself. And then okay. I can, yeah, I can evaluate that information and, and uh, walk you through the process. Perfect. Because in Canada, there are some, some uh, distributor, I think, uh, they don't have technical support or something. They, they, they just ask us, uh, okay, give me what, what you need. And sometimes we, we get stuck, you know, to figure out uh, the, the curve lock yeah. or transfer lock, what exactly it has to be. Right, right, exactly. Perfect. Yep. And, that, and that's, that's the reason, I mean, that's why we're really excited about the services. Like I said, you know, we've always wanted to support the customers and have. Uh, but with the service group, it's a very structured team, um, very qualified team, and and now we're giving you that consistent, uh, you know, support and and, and added services because we've seen it from both ends. Um, unfortunately, you know, on the back end is you know where all the problems arise from not doing the things we talked about today up front. So, um, you know, this is good for both sides. Perfect. Thank you, Matt. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right, we've got uh, we've got another question. Um, and this is regarding the animation feature of the um, that was shown uh, early on in the presentation. It says regarding the animation feature of the key interlock scheme, do we need to get a special quote for this or is it covered in the standard deliverables? Yes. Um, it's separate. Um, we're finding out most customers, if we do the scheme, uh, want the animated or the animation included, uh, but that can be priced out separately. Uh, you know, I think some of it depends on the size of the scheme. Uh, obviously, in this particular project, it was a very, uh, it was a very big scheme, so to speak, and it had a lot of different scenarios within the scheme. So the animation really made a lot of sense, a lot of clarity uh, to what was needed. So I hope, hope that answers your question. Yeah, I, th I think, um, and, and part of what you um, had in your presentation talking about the different components, some projects might entail everything that we have to offer. Some projects might just be, you know, a portion of, and I think that's probably, um, you know, part of the, the answer is um, the animation uh, providing that might just be um, something that uh, a customer might, might wish for, for training, um, for a deliverable with their customer after the fact. And, um, and we certainly can do that, even if the, um, the logic is 100% accurate and, and project complete. Yep, yeah, good point, Trish. Um, any other questions? I think if there's anything, if there's nothing else more, we're, we're right on our 30 minute mark. So I appreciate everyone attending. Um, if anything comes up uh, from this point forward, by all means, uh, Matt is available directly at matt, matt at kirkkey.com. And we'll be happy to field any additional questions or project specific information that you may have. We appreciate all of your time this morning and please watch for the follow-up email and that three or four question survey, and uh, maybe there's a, a little prize in that for you. So I uh, definitely, we all appreciate your time and we hope to hear from you and, and learn more about the projects you might have on your plate. Thank you again. Yep, thank you everyone.